Tron, okay, T-R-O-N. Now, this was a futuristic movie at the time, and I can remember seeing it myself. It was touted as the very first digital movie, okay? This was made in very early 1982 versions of CG, CGI-type uh, technology. You can see the combination here of of uh, obviously actors' faces with this imposed over layer of graphics. Now, this was produced, by the way, by, the way, by Disney Studios, okay? So, um, this was Disney. Uh, now, this is very old computing technology they're using here. Uh, this is like the very first version of the Silicon Graphics platform, probably, I would imagine. Um, a crude attempt by today's standards to show movie characters in a computer world. Now, the theme of Tron is that there is a man played by Jeff Bridges when he was very young um, who's a computer engineer. They don't say programmer. This is Jeff Bridges back in the day, 1982. Uh, he's a computer engineer, and he finds out that his boss or the owner of the company, the mainframe system where he works, is, uh, is stealing his work, is stealing his, uh, his work product, and he decides to put an end to it. So he actually enters into the computer world. Now this, this is a, a huge transition in thinking in 1982, back when, at the time, computers were not really that available. Um, on a, like the personal computer world was, was barely getting started. And Disney was out there portraying these characters, both in real life, as you can see, Jeff Bridges here uh, in real life, he's a computer software engineer. And then as he goes into the computer world and enters the network, okay, that's the theme of it. He actually goes into the computer network himself and he fights this battle against the bad uh, evildoers in there. And it's pretty interesting how it works. Um, you know, that, that story um, is, is, uh, is a, a, I guess, an analogy for many um, dystopian sci-fi themes of, you know, some great power that, that, that the, one, the one, one man goes to fight. I remember watching this movie and they had these funny shaped um, motorcycles that were with these big wheels and these motorcycles were actually meant to represent bytes, uh, B-Y-T-E-S, bytes of computer activity going through this network and racing. Uh, I can remember them racing and there was a pretty good soundtrack to this movie. But the reason I'm showing you that, okay, Tron the movie, 1982, now sometimes in 20th century history you have these Things I can I think of the movie 1981 movie Blade Runner, for instance, is a good example where the sci-fi world uh, more or less is ahead of the game by 20 to 30 years. And then you start to see later, like in 2021, evidence of that kind of technology that's in the sci-fi world coming becoming available. Now, what we're going to take a look at is Tron the... We're talking about Tron, the movie, but there's also Tron, the cryptocurrency, okay? This is where I'm going, folks. Now, I want you to meet Justin's son, okay? Born in 1990. He is Chinese. Um, now, Justin is what I would call in, uh, in the world of technology a disruptor, okay? Uh, Justin's son, he's a very young man. Um, he went to Peking University. Uh, he got interested in the crypto world early. He's an early adopter of the crypto world, okay? That's the terminology we use there, early adopter. Now, Justin's son today, um, you can see he is the founder and CEO of the Tron cryptocurrency ecosystem, as he calls it, the ecosystem. 
He's also the founder of another very important one that I'm going to talk about in a later broadcast called BitTorrent. Okay, BitTorrent, um, blockchain technology on the cutting edge. This is uh, Justin's son, and he's typical of the kind of people that you find in this industry. A, a very young person, um, but yet, look at this. He's the CEO of Tron. Also, he has an app in China called Piwo. Now, we um, in America don't realize that um, what happens in China is that, first of all, things like Snapchat and TikTok, uh, these types of apps, uh, they are extremely used and important and part of the life of people in China. Now, he is currently based in Singapore, and also the Tron network, the Tron offices, all of the Tron functioning comes out of Singapore now, but, um, but Justin actually started in China. Okay, so uh, here's what Justin's son is known for. Uh, he paid, uh, reportedly, I believe, um, maybe something like 4.37 million US dollars to have a, a dinner with Warren Buffett, okay? And, and he had a couple of his co-founders there, I believe. The, the, this is a, a, a little news article on Bloomberg, uh, which is an important publication about that dinner. Um, 29 year old, yeah, $4.57 million uh, Justin Sun donated to, um, to, to Warren Buffett's charity in order to get this meeting with him. Justin Sun is, uh, he's a character, okay, folks? I mean, he, he's a disruptor is what I call him. He, he's a different kind of person, uh, very smart, very smart guy. Um, but he did go to Omaha with his contingent of VIPs from his company. He's 29. I don't know what age Warren Buffett is. I would guess Warren Buffett's probably in his 80s. But um, Justin wanted to meet him, wanted to hear his thoughts about the future of blockchain, wanted to know, you know, what Warren Buffett, who's, they call him the uh, Oracle of Omaha, is what uh, Warren Buffett goes by. Uh, he is a a hugely famous investor. Uh, I think most people know that, but um, Warren Buffett has books. Warren Buffett has a following. Um, he's extremely wealthy, and they call him the Oracle of Omaha because of his stock market investing. So we see on LinkedIn, Justin Sun. You can go look him up yourself. Um, now, so let's go to the Tron website. And let's just look real quick. All right, what is Tron? Okay, we, we're, we've we got the movie, I'm telling you that, because, like I said, the, um, the sci-fi movies, the reason I like sci-fi is because in many cases, they are predictors of what's to come. And if you go back to 1982 again, uh, you can see where Tron was mentioned as this big, huge uh, battle inside of a computer network. And today... We have Tron, Tron the ecosystem, Tron ecosystem. Now, um, what this is, um, it is a cryptocurrency. It's the symbol is TRX, okay? TRX is Tron. Now, uh, currently, it is trading at 0 0.06 US dollars. That's six cents, okay? Six point, well, it would actually be yeah, uh, 0 0.060732. That means that it's worth just around six cents on the dollar, okay? I mean, as far as it, 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 its value, that doesn't sound like a lot. However, if you look at the transaction volume, now this is a 24 hour transaction volume is currently at um, $3140.93 million, okay? That's, um, what would that be? Three thousand million dollars. Uh, well, obviously that's that that's that's a little over three billion dollars. Okay, with four point oh two million transactions in the last twenty four hours. So, uh, while you you may be unaware of what Tron is and the fact that it is actually there, 
uh, while you sleep at night, um, Tron is trading and it's very popular over in the, um, in the Asian realm. Uh, Tron is something you'll hear about. So um, they have the Tron ecosystem network. They have, uh, uh, they have a um, couple of things that they tout that it is, uh, it surpasses Bitcoin and Ethereum. And as far as speed goes, it has some application um, things that it does like smart contracting and so forth. Smart contracts, something we'll talk about later, but that's where you can add information into the cryptocurrency to describe things being traded and so forth. And it's also widely traded. Okay. Now the Sun Network um, is a what's called a D app. That's uh, the Sun Network named after Justin Sun. Uh, th this is the web page for Tron. And look at some of the partners. Okay. This is uh, all right. Poloniex. What is Poloniex? Well, that's a, a trading platform in the Seychelles Island. Um, it's Wall Street compliant, and they are also involved with Goldman Sachs. All right, now Samsung, I don't have to tell you how important that name is. BitTorrent, um, that is the, uh, the protocol, the, the BitTorrent protocol. That's another cryptocurrency we'll, we'll discuss later too. Then you've got Swisscom and Opera. By the way, Opera um, is something I'd like to tell you more about too. Um, it's a browser, okay? It was founded in Norway. Um, it allows you a lot of flexibility as far as browsing goes. I, I like Opera. I downloaded it. It's, uh, it's a little different than Google, a little different than um, Yahoo as far as a browser goes. Here we are, 2018, Tron founder Justin Sun. Um, we have the record uh, $4.57 million dollar they say lunch here, but I think it was actually a dinner. And then um, here's a photo of Justin Sun with the Binance CEO. Okay, so Binance is a huge crypto exchange. The CEO for Binance is also a very young uh, person as well. Um, a lot of these guys in the blockchain realm are in their 20s and 30s. Um, this is new. This is all new technology I'm exposing you to here. Now, just briefly before I wrap up, I want to show you where Tron has been. This is the one-year chart of Tron. Now, for those of you who are new to cryptocurrencies, okay, when I say uh, three cents, all right, three cents, if we see here, um, all right, that's the, let's see, let me get my marker working, okay, folks. Uh, that is the three cent range approximately right there uh, back in what was it August of 2020 there was a little bit of uptick in Tron that was probably as I've said before news reports news reports kick these things up but what you could say is probably very significant is what's happened here since um, February 1st of 2021. Now, this three cent trading range in this area here, uh, that was formally like the, I call it a line of resistance, okay? So you, you have a, a, a trading range and uh, then there's a breakout. Now the breakout occurred at this point and you can see on the oscillator uh, all of a sudden you, you had kind of this flat activity, very flat activity leading up to uh, late January 21. And then the oscillator kicked off with a load of volume over a long period of time. Uh, the oscillator itself starts going